This is Twit. Jeff in Los Angeles, our next caller. Hi, Jeff. Leo Laporte here. What can I do for you? Well, I have uh, two questions. One, uh, a while back, a uh, long while back, I purchased a uh, Jabra BT-8010 Great. headset. Great headset. I can't find one like that anymore. No, that was a uh, classic. <laughs> I really like the fact that you could take this the the other ear and disconnect it and have just a headset for your phone, but when you wanted music, you just plugged in the other side, and you got a stereo headphones. Yeah. It wasn't some big thing on your head. And I've been looking everywhere for something like that, and nobody seems to make one. Uh, yeah, there are Bluetooth headphones out there. I mean, it may be that that, I mean, last time I, ch I checked anyway, headsets, I guess we have to call them, not headphones. Um, uh, but there are, what you want is a stereo one. Um, right, and yeah, and the nice thing was, like I said, that you could disconnect to one side, and so you just had the one ear, and you can use right. it your phone. And that I don't know about. Like That's that. unique. Yeah, because I've seen the sport ones, but the, right. you know, they lock over both ears. Right, you can't take one off. Right. Yeah, so you want one that's convertible. Right. A convertible Bluetooth headphones... You know, there are some where you could pop the ear out, but you don't want you, you want it so that you can just take the whole thing off and just it'll be a normal little Bluetooth headset when exactly. you don't want to take the headphones around. And it also had all the all the all the extra functions on it, so I actually could control my my when I had it, the BlackBerry, I could I could uh, stop and start the music, I could make phone calls with it, everything. Right. Well, I think that everything will do that now because that's part of the Bluetooth profile. Um, here's one from LG Electronics. They're, I'm just looking at what the chat room's sending me because I don't, I don't know of one that's convertible. I do know of a number of them that will sit around. Actually, this new one from LG is kind of interesting because instead of sitting behind your head and curving over your ear as most of these other ones do, Sennheiser and others, uh, this one actually sits around your neck. And it's been, <laughs> I've, I've read some articles that say, do people really want to do this? So what it is is uh, it, it sits around your neck and you could pop the ears in and out. Um, yeah, well, yeah, it's not what you want. Yeah, the though. thing is, you can't you can't cover both ears when you're driving. <laughs> Got it. Well, see, that's what will work about this. So you could put this around your neck. In fact, I bet you that's why they invented this. You put this around your neck. That's where the the battery is, the the receiver, and all that. And then you pop out one or two earbuds, depending on whether you're driving or you want to listen to music. Hmm. So that would be one choice. That's the. Uh, LG Electronics Tone Pro, and they just came out with this. And this, I've seen a lot of coverage of this because there's some question about how dorky you look wearing them. <laughs> I'll tell you. Uh, uh, here's one. The blue. This is the all the chat room talking because I don't know of anything. I kind of gave up on Bluetooth uh, headsets, to be honest with you, because they just they drop out. They just I've never found one that is a hundred percent reliable. The Jabra's were excellent. Uh, yeah, the, the eighty ten, the B eighty ten I had was was really nice. I never had problems. Oh, with it. this is interesting. It was really good. Music was really good. Yeah, look at this. We'll put all these in the show notes. You don't have to make a note of this. This is another one from the chat room. It's called the Bludio. <laughs> Terrible name. B L U D I O. So what it it looks like a regular Bluetooth headset, but you can plug another earphone into the into it, and then it becomes stereo. That's that's kind of like what the Jabra did. Yeah. So this, uh, the Bluteo, it's on Amazon for 21 bucks, cheap to try anyway. Um, that's an interesting idea. So you can, t it kind of turns into a stereo headset, if you wish. The key to looking at any of these is that there are two different Bluetooth profiles that need, both need to be supported. There's the Bluetooth headset profile, which makes it a, uh, a phone uh, headset. But then you also need the A2DP profile, which is terribly named. That's the Bluetooth stereo music profile. Much higher quality, and of course, it's left and right. So you need headset plus A2DP in any of these to make it uh, what you want. And I'm, I'm actually looking at the specs. I don't, I don't see them say that. Um, it also supports NFC. That's a nice new feature. In, um, in all Bluetooth devices, the idea that you can pair by tapping your phone to it. Pairing is a big pain on Bluetooth, isn't it? Oh, you got to press the button and wait and then get the pairing thing and you make and then never, and it never, it takes two or three times to do it. Uh, the idea that you could tap it with your phone, the NFC, which is the near field communication chip in your phone, would then signal to the Bluetooth device, I'm here, here's the code, and, and you're done. 
more and more devices are including that. The one thing perhaps holding it back is the fact that Apple has never supported NFC, and that, of course, in the United States anyway, is the number one iPhone, number one smartphone, or at least the iPhone. It's at least tied for number one. <laughs> it's slowly losing market share to uh, Samsung. Samsung supports this, and the rumor is the next iPhone, the iPhone 6, will in fact have NFC, which would be a big retrenching for Apple, big shift for Apple. But I do believe it's things like this that uh, have encouraged Apple. Yeah, you, know, you got to do it. You got to do it. So there's a couple. We'll put more in the show notes uh, for you, Jeff. That this is where the chat room really is comes in handy. Um, they have a lot of experience with a lot of different devices, um, and uh, we'll put the links. The Blue Dio looks like it would do what you want. And I like the NFC pairing. I think that's nice.